Hello everyone, I would like to share something with you from the Holy Spirit of God. Now, I'm about to do a study uh, later on about David and the seed of David and the city of David uh, from the Holy Spirit. And as I was sitting here doing the study with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit stopped me right in the middle of the study. And uh, he said, uh, hurry. You must put all the warning videos back out there. And I said, oh, no. I said, oh, no, I hope you're kidding. I said, I can't keep putting those warning videos out there. I said, I put them out there, and I don't like them, and I delete them, and I don't like them out there. But church is not about what I like. Do you hear me? It's not about Donna. It's not about me. I have to put all these warning videos out there because that's what the Holy Spirit of God said. And he told me, he gave me a command. He said, do not remove these warning videos. And I said, why, why, what is happening? What is going on? And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, the things that I've warned you over here. He said, I warned you of the technology of the DNA change that is coming. I warned you of the men will change genes, genetic makeup of the human body. He said they will take these, and he told me, he said, they're going to be able to take babies. Like if you want to have a baby, you can say, I want my baby to look just like this. I want my baby to have blue eyes and blonde hair and the color of the skin, and the baby will look just like that. God knows I made enough of videos on technology that I've seen that was coming. And the Holy Spirit said, the technology is here, Donna. What I warned you of is here. And I said, I haven't seen it yet, my Lord. I said, uh, usually Preston uh, will contact me and tell me uh, what he has seen that is being fulfilled, that what the Holy Spirit has spoken. But I have not seen that yet, but that's what the Holy Spirit said. So I'm always obedient to God. He tells me to do something. I jump right on it. I don't wait. I do it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I, I will do what he tells me to do. And he said the technology is here. And I've seen this technology, church. I've seen technology to where they can clone you a liver, a lung, a heart. I've seen it. I've seen technology to where no more surgery. Do you hear me, church? That I could literally go to a doctor and say, I don't like my green eyes and I'd like to have blue eyes. And whatever color hair I desire, whatever color skin I have, I desire, I can have it. Through genetic altering. Through them changing and targeting certain cells. The Holy Spirit has been warning me since 2011 of this technology that is coming. Of where through cells, and I've even seen it in a vision to where doctors are going to target cells, genetic makeup, cells in your body. You see, church, we die because they are cells, cancerous cells. And I asked the Holy Spirit, why doesn't our body attack those cells? He said, if it was a virus, your body would attack a virus. But this is not a virus. It is a cell. So your body recognizes it as part of your body, makeup, your genetic makeup. That you inherit from generation to generation. You inherit certain genes. The Holy Spirit said that science, they will target those cancer cells and destroy them. And I said, well, that's good news right there. I mean, that's good news for me and a lot of other people. And he said, and then the technology where you will not grow old. You will not have wrinkles. There will not be an old person among you. You will live longer. And I told the Holy Spirit, I said, well, this is really good news to me that I will live longer. I won't grow old. I won't have wrinkles. And the Holy Spirit said, this is the beast. This is the coming of the beast. And I said, the beast being revealed? He said, no, but it leading up to him. He said, Donna, these are the things that God is offering to his people. Those that serve him. They know that God is going to, uh, you're going to have everlasting life. You're not going to grow old. You're not going to get sick. You're not going to die. 
He said that if the beast is going to enter into the world and deceive the world that he is God, he has to be able to perform these things. He said, but you know the beast is not a god, so he will have to use technology. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and he says, Donna, why do men come to God for what God offers them? What will man do when the beast appears? And through science, through technology, he can make them live longer. Oh, church, they're going to raise the dead. They're going to clone the dead. I've seen it. I've seen them clone religious leaders. And the Holy Spirit told me, he said, what will man do when the beast will offer them through science, through technology, to live longer? No more diseased. No more dying of cancer. No more crippled. In, in, I, I've even seen in a vision of people that were crippled that had spine damage, that was cured, that were able to walk through this technology. And the Holy Spirit said, who will man choose then, Donna? Will he then choose God or will he choose the beast? And I said, I don't know about the world, my Lord. I cannot uh, speak for what other people choose. But my choice is you. I choose God. You are my life. You are my heart. And you are my desire. Because what the devil is going to offer church is only for a moment. It is not eternal. It is not everlasting. You see, what God offers us is everlasting life. He offers us a place in His kingdom to be part of Him, to have God dwell inside of you, to live forever with God in Jesus Christ. I'm choosing God. I told the Holy Spirit, I've made my choice a long time ago. I choose God. But the Holy Spirit was warning me of this technology. And that's going to cause a great falling away. It's going to cause people to fall away from God. And to receive this technology that is coming. I've seen it church. I've seen visions and dreams. Now you all know me. You know that I'm a minister of the gospel. And I love to preach the good news. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. And you all know how many times I have posted and removed warning videos. Even when he gives me warnings, I'll post them up there for a few hours and take them down or even for a few days. And I tell the Holy Spirit, well, whoever watched them got to hear the warning, but that's enough. And then today, I was doing a study with the Holy Spirit and right in the middle of the study, he starts talking to me. Donna, put those warnings out there. And I said, oh, no, <laughs> not again. And he said, what I have warned you of is here. It's here, church. There ain't no more looking for it because it's here. You better keep your eyes on Israel because the enemy's coming. This is the year of the beast. This is the year for that technology to come to where the beast needs it. The beast needs this technology. Even Daniel was warned that knowledge would increase. And it is. I will not. Do you hear me church? I will not remove the warning videos. I cannot. I was commanded by God not to remove those warnings. I'm sorry if uh, many are offended. Many are afraid. I'm sorry. But I must obey God. And that is what he commanded me to do. And that's what I will do. I will try to go through uh, all of the videos that I have on warnings. And what I cannot get, I will get from those that have kept my videos. To make sure you get to hear the warnings. I'm ready, church. I got my rapture clothes on. I'm ready to ascend. Whenever God calls me home, when I hear the trumpet sounding, I'm going home. Amen? But I do not know the hour, and I do not know the date. Church, I have never given a date nor a warning. And I know a lot of people hear the warning videos, and you know that it's sometimes the Holy Spirit talks of an eclipse or a blood moon. 
but I do not know at which time these things happen. I do not know what year that these events will take place that Jesus will call his church home. I need to make that clear to you, church. I am in no way telling you that I know the hour the beast is going to be revealed, nor do I know when the church is going to ascend up into heaven or when Jesus is going to take his church or return. I do not have that knowledge. I was just told from the Holy Spirit to send the warnings back out into the world and not to remove those warning videos. And I will not remove them. God bless you, my dear precious friends. In Jesus Christ's most holy name.